Now you played 20 games for the, your mighty state and mm. led them. And what, what are your thoughts on it, Chief? Well, for me, personally, I think the players have, have tried their absolute hardest. This year and most years, I think they've done a great job. As far as getting rid of more players for the end game, not interested. I think Laurie Daly is a part of the future. I think he's, he's a part of the answer. But for mine, there's a thing called teamwork index, which is how many games you play together as a team. <clears throat> and we use Queensland, <coughs> for example. In world sport, they're probably one of the all-time great teams for having played together. And let's just look at the halves, for, existent, for example. Over the last 10 years, you've had Lockie and you've had Thurston. Lockie retires, you put in Cooper Cronk. Stable, the same. New South Wales, every year, consistently have changed the halves combination. And I remember when uh, they picked the two Bulldogs halves there one year, I thought, hello, someone's starting to understand that it's so important to have combinations and clusters of deep understanding. So this it's is Hopkinson and Reynolds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going, this is fantastic. And it's no surprise that we happen to win the only time because that understanding is there. So here we are, putting individual plays together for seven days, changing it every year, mixing it up against the team who has been basically the same spine. They play together every week. They're together every week. And we're trying to beat them. It's not about changing when things are not going right. Mm. It's about building that teamwork index up so we've got this unique, deep understanding and we can start to play. But natural human reaction is, oh, it doesn't work. Wipe it out and start again. And it's the exact worst thing you can do. So the experiment's finished now. We can't be blood and new blokes and start again. We've lost 10 years in a row. I've had a shit. I've had enough of this. It's like a black haze hanging overhead. <laughs> it's now time to start picking the best team. So it's not like a merit award where you've been in good form this week, get in the team, you'll be right, come together. It's about picking a team that actually understands each other, that's played football together with each other, deep understanding to take on this juggernaut. So you're looking Queensland. for combinations inside that 17. Mate, it's, it's, it's common sense, but there's blokes like Ben Darwin and other guys who now have its actual data. In world sport, they, they go through and analyse teams. And Queensland is one of the great examples that they use. So here we are as a state, mixing it up every year, chopping and changing. And I, I've got to say, the selection has just been a stab in the dark for the last 10 years. It's been pathetic. There's been no systematic to it at all. It's a joke. So I yeah. think the biggest change, the two things we've had is, is Queensland no doubt probably have two or three one and 20 year players and maybe one immortal or two. No contest. But the biggest single issue we've had is we've absolutely botched our selection for 10 years and it's time to finish. I, I like it. Well said, Chief.